When it comes to live streaming software, OBS Studio is probably the most recommended one and for a good reason. If you're on social media, you've probably seen amazing stuff that people have been doing with the software. Maybe you've been thinking about getting into it or switching to it for a while now. Well, this video is for you. My name is Gal Level and you're watching the brab brab version of how to get started with OBS Studio. By the end of this video, you will have a full OBS setup complete with overlays, alerts, and everything you need for a quick start. This video is sponsored by Own Pro, and I'll show you how it can help us later. All right, let's do a clean install on my laptop. First, you wanna go to obsproject.com com and click on your operating system in my case it's windows and this will download the latest version of obs studio once it's done we can launch it click next next install click finish it will launch obs now it's going to ask you to run the auto configuration wizard which i recommend so click next base resolution is the resolution of your monitor make sure that's correct click next here you want to select which service you want to stream on in my case it's twitch so we're going to click connect account and we'll just connect our account just log in and boom, you're connected. Now, this is a new feature and I would advise you actually turn it on, click next. And now it's basically gonna test your internet connection and figure out the settings for you. It's gonna show you the settings and you can click apply. Now, the settings are not always perfect, so you're gonna have to do some testing and maybe some tweaking. Okay, so we have a bunch of floating panels. I'm gonna grab the one in the back, make that full screen, one in the middle, close it. And then left side here, you can always open it again, but I'm gonna close that. And I'm gonna grab my chat and I'm gonna put it on the left side here. All right, so left side is going to be your chat. So if you wanna access it, type something, read the chat, ban people, all that good stuff is here. Middle here is going to be the preview. So basically anything that's visible on here means that your stream will be able to see it. Bottom left here, we have our scenes list. Scenes are basically segments. So you can display different layouts depending on what's happening on the stream. If you're just starting the stream, it's gonna be a starting soon scene. You might have a countdown, some text that says starting soon, some music playing. If you're just chatting, you're gonna have a just chatting scene where you will have your camera, maybe a chat box. And when you're gaming, of course, you're gonna have your camera, the game, maybe a labels bar. So those are the segments, AKA the scenes. Now, as I mentioned, each scene is going to have some assets like your camera, your gameplay, the chat box. Those are your sources and they appear here. You can click on the little pluses to add new, whatever new scene is going to be plus bottom left here. New source is going to be the plus here. I advise you play around with all that, but basically you can add images, you can add videos, you can add uh, game captures, which you're most likely gonna use. And each of those, you can give them custom names and then play around with the properties. For example, here, capture any full screen application. If I have a game launch and it's full screen, it's going to automatically pick it out. I don't like using that though, because sometimes it's faulty. You can change that to capture specific window and then open up a list where if I had a game here, I could just choose it and make sure that it's just going to show that game. If I wanna show my whole screen, I would do a display capture, for example, and it's gonna create some weird inception effect, <laughs> but at least you see what we're dealing with. You can right click on those sources to get a bunch of options. And something important to note is the order in the list here is also the order of appearance. If I want my camera to be on top of my display capture, first of all, I would add my camera. It's a video capture device. I can call it cam and I don't really want to show my face so I have it covered, but you can see that my camera is completely covering the display capture. If I put the display capture by clicking and dragging on top of it, then this is covering that. Let's do it again, camera on top, but I can also scale that down by clicking on the little handles. Okay, those are the basics. Here we have the audio mixer. This is basically a visual representation of the audio. Something is being captured and you can see it's my mic. Desktop audio will be anything playing from your computer. So if you wanna play music, just play music. People ask me all the time, how do I play like a music from a, just play it. Desktop audio will pick it up. How do I know if it's too loud or too, you can see it. Then we have scene transitions. If I add a new scene, for example, scene two, and let's add an image source to that one. I have this one. I can click on that first scene to go back to it. And you can see it fades in and fades out. We can change that under scene transitions. And now it'll just cut, boom, boom. You can add more with the plus, things like Luma wipe, and you will have a bunch of options such as fractal that I really like. Now, when I switch, it does that. Okay, so those were the basics of OBS Studio. Now it seems like it's gonna take a ton of time to actually get this going and looking like something, but it doesn't have to be. This is where we're gonna use today's sponsor, Own Pro. So you can go to own.gg slash gallevelpro. That's owned with a three instead of an E. And you can click login, top right. You can log in with your Twitch account. And once you're here, go to scene builder. Choose complete setup, because that's what we want. Choose automatic selection, because that's what we want. And from there, you can browse all the overlays that you would like. Those look pretty good. Now pay attention, those say premium, and we have a free account for now. So I'm gonna scroll down under the free one, and I'm gonna pick this one. 
Still animated, still looks great. Click on it and click install now. It's gonna ask you for an alert box. We can just add this one. So it just created all of those scenes and it's gonna tell us how to actually get them into OBS. First, we're gonna download the file. You wanna put it somewhere you can find. Then in OBS Studio, up top, you're gonna find something called Scene Collection. You wanna click on that and click Import and find that file. You can click on the three little dots right here. It's right there. Click Open, then click Import. All right, you don't see it, but the magic is done. Click Scene Collection again. And here you will see Avoid. This is our scene collection. A scene collection is basically a profile in a way that just stores your scenes and sources. So if I go to starting here, I have my starting soon, my animated starting soon, ready to go. I have my ending screen also. I have my BR right back scene. I have my regular overlay, my talking stream, my talking scene. I even have a live chat here. So if I type something in chat, it will show up. My, my alert box is in there. You will also see your most recent sub, follower, tipper, cheerer. And the only thing that's missing is basically your camera where you want it to be and your game capture. So let's add that here. Video capture device, that's gonna be my cam. Again, I don't wanna be on camera, so I have it covered. And you can drag that in the middle of the foreground and the background. Then drag it to fit within the borders and use the arrows on your keyboard to fine tune it, to move it around. All right, to give you a better look, I'm just putting my finger in front of the camera. So there you go. Bottom left here is where your gameplay would be while you're in the lobby, because this is your just chatting scene. Then overlay here, you would add your camera and also your gameplay. Now keep in mind that this is all customizable. For example, I can go here and actually open up one of the scenes and completely customize it. I can add more stuff like a countdown, some GIFs, extra images, videos, and it will all be updated automatically. I wanna add a graphic. I wanna go to webcam styles and I want this. I'm just gonna move it around, size it up and click save. Oh, back in OBS Studio, you can see it updated. I can add my webcam again. This time, video capture device, add existing, cause we already added a camera once and click okay. Let's size it up, place it around here and put it underneath the foreground and background. And there it is. You're pretty much ready to go. All you have to do is click start streaming and you will be live on Twitch. Now you probably noticed that with using own pro free version, you will have a little bit of a watermark. They only appear from time to time, but if you find them too disruptive, you can always get the premium version. Personally, I think it's a very, very small price to pay considering the time it just saved us. But of course, if you want to figure out how to set up your overlays manually or even create some, I have plenty of videos on this channel. There's a gazillion more information about OBS Studio, but you don't want to watch a long video. So thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitch, go out there, make me proud, get level, out.